Hello friends, welcome to Fragrance of Joy, another episode of Experience Tricks and Fragrance Together. Uh, today, I uh, just want to bring to you one of the best, the most beautiful uh, fragrance in my collection. Uh, so I start my journey in 2010 to 12, around that range, I started collecting fragrances. And this one stood out for me because a lot of reviews uh, reviewers like Rob, Rob So8, and uh, you know, the uh, former reviewers um, cherished this one and talked about it. So um, I got one bottle at that time and uh, um, it feels so amazing. It was that oriental, um, you know, frigid qualities and the beauty um, in various uh, notes combined and how it's the fragrance evolving. Uh, give me a better understanding of the fragrance industry and um, it has been in my collection uh, for a long time and I have used up several bottles of that and especially I'm talking about Amavaj's the best offering so far Amavaj 25 Jubilation 25 uh, for men and uh, I also have Jubilation 25 for women um, and I have a newer one in my collection that is Amoa Jubilation 40, the extract version. So all of them are great, but I had never experienced the 40. I'm going to unbox that um, in this video and to see what's my experience with that. Uh, so let me talk a little bit about this beauty here. It's Amoa 25 for men. Uh, this one is an older bottle, not older bottle, it's a uh, maybe five year old and has the magnetic cap. People were talking about magnetic and non-magnetic cap. I have both versions here. This one is a non-magnetic version. Uh, this is an older version. This one I received in 2012, I guess. Uh, so it, I used a little bit of that, uh, but I had used uh, another, another bottle uh, around 2015 and another bottle uh, recently and I got this one. This is also an older bottle, it was in a backup bottle. Uh, it's an amazing bottle. Okay, let me, amazing fragrance. Mm, look at the classic shape, uh, the beauty of the glass, the bottle and the cap is amazing with the crystal here, uh, purple crystal. So it reminds you about royalty, a classness of, uh, you know, very, um, opulent and uh, a great um, memories it evokes okay so let's just start with this one this one is a amber fijer uh, it came out in 2007 the uh, the perfume behind, behind is um, uh, Bertrand Duchefort he's an amazing developer uh, beautiful fragrance i think the homage uh, all the most of the homage has that classic um, you know uh, omani vibe uh, which has a fragrance uh, i mean frankincense and myrrh combo this also has that um, i don't know it has frankincense but you will you will definitely get the myrrh and the incense qualities to it uh, so it is an amber warm spicy fragrance um, uh, is woodsy and a uh, lot of dry fruits i can experience that you know the dates and uh, some uh, dried grapes um, and uh, uh, dates grapes uh, and has a lot of balsamic qualities to it so it has the top notes of uh, blackberries definitely gives that fruity vibe olibanum orange labdanum coriander and tarragon i'm um, reading from fragrantica so the middle notes includes honey a little bit of honey there because that dampens that gives that uh, you know the mellow uh, qualities and it has some gag wood cinnamon uh, bay leaf clove which gives some some spicy qualities and cross orchid and celery seeds i never sell celery seeds only experience celery itself but uh, i don't know how it smells but 
I cannot differentiate that. Uh, then uh, the base nodes includes opoponax, uh, oud, myrrh, patchouli, cedar, ambergris, musk, immortal, and oakmoss. So the most prominent nodes I can smell are oud. Uh, I can get some uh, you know, dried fruits, uh, some berries, it has incense, and I get a little bit of oak moss, definitely myrrh. These are the notes which comes to me. The moment you spray it on, you get the blast of the classiness, the opulence. It's a multifaceted uh, fragrance. And one of the Good thing I, I uh, smell one of the difference I get from other Amoa juices. That's some kind, of, some kind of dated smell to it. It may be because of the dry fruits. You know, when you go to a, a, a market and experience various dried fruits, you get that, uh, you know, the dusty, uh, you know, uh, fruity smell but uh, give give some time to it after some time it evolves uh beautifully and it's a long lasting fragrance too especially in uh, winter weather it's an amazing fragrance beautiful well balanced you know uh people say it has poor longevity but i never had that issue but especially with this one the magnetic the non-magnetic cap one both smells similar uh while app while up uh during application but long lasting wise i may get maybe one or two hour uh, difference but i never tried uh you know side by side but when i i think i don't use this much often because people were hyping it too much and it's very hard to get the same thing once once it's lost it's lost right so um so i don't want to spend or use up too much of this one, but I have another bottle of this one. Uh, so it's an amazing fragrance, especially during cold weather. You wear it, you feel it like that elegance and opulence of the richness and uh, the complexity of various notes com combined. And it gives an idea of how the Oriental fragrance or the fragrance developed in Middle East uh, smells like. They all have that wood inside but in the wood in this is beautiful. It is mellowed, um, calm down wood, which is well rounded. Uh, uh, you know, it's combined with uh, the myrrh gives you an excellent uh, perfume, excellent perfume experience. The second one I want to talk about is the Jubilation um, 25 for women. It's an amazing fragrance. Look at the cap. This one is by Lucas Sisak, he is the perfumer behind, but you know what? This reminds me of Mitsuko or from Gile, um, and also uh, Roja's Diaglav. So if, you, if you like those fragrances, try this one. It is a little bit different from them, but you get that initial vibe. It smells Mitsuko, beautiful fragrance, an ambery, aromatic, warm spicy fragrance which came out in 2007 and uh, it has a different perfumery but great offering it has some kind of some flowery aspect to it on the top it has the rose tarragon and it has a um, little bit of citrus and ylang ylang and the middle notes has uh, incense rose leptanum and artemisia and the base notes, myrrh, again, myrrh, patchouli, vetiver, musk, amber. Very great, rich, complex fragrance. It's entirely different from the 25. See, the men and women, they are different. And the quality-wise, both are amazing. But this one is, I won't say this is entirely women. But uh, this, anyone can wear it. And especially men can wear it if we can grab one try it get it um, an amazing fragrance um, you get that classic old not old i mean more matured scent warm spicy beautiful especially in uh, 
winter winter weather and the cold weather let me smell it man this is amazing so when you compare these two you know the opening of the women is better it also has the dates dated note in there the mirror both of them the mirror comes out beautifully amazing amazing okay let, let me go to my new edition that is the jubilation 40 it's a new bottle I just bought it i'll be opening it up i'm gonna waste much time on it how beautiful and classic they are so i love the the jubilation 25 that's what made me to buy this uh, the all the new packages come like this Oh, look at that beautiful beautiful cotton like you know velvet kind of feeling to it with texture on it and it has that much brand QR code Your favorites. looks like shine so. Okay, I can see the I can see the amount there. It is like dusty. It's golden dust inside. It's like painted or some kind of some some way it is coated inside. But uh, the cap looks same, and it has this thing inside. Okay. Cannot smell anything. I'm gonna fade that. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four. Okay, nice. Mm. What is that? Same thing, but it has some sharp opening in there. Okay, a little bit of spicy aromatic opening there some kind of medicinal qualities in the initial spray you get that rosemary and davana still has the wood uh, the fruity notes in there dried fruits blackberry blackcurrant sorry blackcurrant Okay, only difference from the other one as per the notes is uh, blackcurrant, davana and rosemary. Definitely I smell rosemary. It has the base is same, but you get a some kind of medicinal quality in there. Some chemical combination on the top. Let me let me spray the original one there. Both seem similar, but let me give some time on that. It has the top notes of, uh, you know, uh, all the ones in uh, Jubilation 25 with addition to blackcurrant, Davana and Rosemary. And the middle notes has frankincense. Uh, and uh, it says, Boom Te Bay Leaf. Boom De Leaf. It's a kind of bay leaf, but it adds that medicinal qualities and the base notes in addition to the Jubilation 25, it has Opopanax, it has Moss, Sisters, Incense, and Musk. I think the other one has Oak Moss. So, what I get from there, expensive, and they claim 40% of fragrance oil, so which gives that extra quality. So, it is more deep into the skin. 
this one has little more sharpness not sharpness like a oomph to it in the opening but this one this one don't give you that same thing as a uh, is one minute two minute past but it is both smells similar so i don't know about the longevity of these uh because of the concentration if you apply it on your dress it may stay a long uh, but not sure um about the projection I cannot smell anything projection wise man this is a monster this one you get it little far from mirrors away but this one is not it's not projecting that much okay because i love jubilation 25 that's what i want to try the extract version i don't carry any other extracts uh even though they came out but i always wa wa wondered when they are going to bring the jubilation and here they here it is since i like jubilation 25 i will like this too but i don't know whether you have to spend that much money to get this one i don't see any difference from the other one the initial experience but based upon the price and uh, um, the quality i'm not sure it says made in oman so it looks beautiful a bottle i may not use this so often i will try to finish it up this one then i may interchangeably use it so friends this is my opinion about not the most amazing fragrance from a wonderful fragrance company um that is amawaj they offered a beautiful uh, array of fragrances i had most of them except the library collection i have the opus um the silver wood and also the royal tobacco uh, all the other ones i have once i had um so out of all of them this gives me more classic nature like more middle eastern vibe and that complexity complexity of uh, notes how they combine to form the beautiful aroma which is complex and opulent which will last for a long time i hope all of you are doing great and um, our uh, this is one of my fragrance love that's why i brought it into this episode once again a mawa jubilation 25 from the most famous fragrance house one of the most famous fragrance house a uh, they are now middle eastern bases they used to be in london uh, before it was only oman then uh, london and they went back to uh, Oman. Oman is a land of frankincense. So uh, they always produce one of the, you know, the real close smelling uh, fragrance, frankincense and myrrh. The combination is amazing and um, some people may not like it, but I would recommend this. Try at least if you're a fragrant collector, if you can get your hands on one of this, one of this beauty uh, this one is also amazing if you can get your hands on this uh you will never regret at least some people it may um, put you off but if you're a true fragrance um, collector and if you collect uh, various types of fragrance you will love it so this is my take on one of the most beautiful fragrance in my collection that is Summer Watch Jubilation 25. Kudos, take care.